I'm a doctor. I don't like cookies. It's time to bring back your infinity brick separators with LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Set number 76108. Sanctum, Sanctorum, Showdown. Say that three times fast. 1,004 pieces. With Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Iron Spider-Man, Cole Obsidian, and Ebony Ma. This box, by the way, probably has the best and most deceiving LEGO artwork we've ever seen. From the looks of it, it almost appears like it's a whole city block, when actually it's just that front corner. Just something to think about. On the back of the box, why did it take me so long to get to this construction set? There's so much going on. One, two, three floors of action, plus a rooftop. Doctor Strange has all sorts of things going on in there. Plus, another infinity stone for my infinity brick separator. Inside the box, the blueprints for the very large construction set. Bag of Bricks 1 The Sequel 2 Bag of Pieces 3 Bag 4 Bag 5 So far these have been pretty light Bag 8 Whoops, not yet Bag 6 Bag 7 Now Bag 8 I blame that on Doctor Strange A couple important plates This must be Coal Obsidian And we have a decorative sheet of stickers One and a decorative sheet of more stickers transparent, too. Looks to be an enormous amount of building. Let's show down the Sanctorum of Sanctum. That worked out. That was the only possibility. Smart move. Those kids are meddling.
constructed we have Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. Why did it take me so long to build this thing? It's incredible. No, no, Hulk's not included. I'm kind of like a Hulk. Be quiet. You are wise to wait on this set to keep the stone away from Thanos. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Doctor Strange. Well, anyhow, this set is packed with a million features. So right now we're looking at the front entrance of the Sanctorum of Doctor Strange. That's how you say it. This building is ultra fancy. It took forever to build. Very similar to those fancier creator sets from LEGO. On the side here, we have a hinge and we can then turn it into a full-blown corner. Probably going to want to move out of the way, Doctor Strange. I'll just use one of my portals. Uh, I think he just went behind the building. No, I didn't. We can open the building up halfway to build more of a corner lot, and if you like, move this little wedge piece here to complete the lock. Then over on this side, we have more of a Spider-Man-like neighborhood. Spider-Man's apartment and Pepe's pizza. There's just so much incredible detail on this block with the fire escape, the brickwork, that iconic Sanctorum's window, even some newspapers in this little box down here. Up on the rooftop, we have a launching figure function. Take your Spider-Man figure, give him some webbing, and then when we push in this rod, he's gonna go flying. Hold on, hold on, I'm the daredevil stunt performer here. I'm licensed by the union. Hop out of there, Spider-Man. Oh, thank goodness, I didn't wanna do my own stunts today. There you go, kind sir. I'm gonna go take my mandatory 15 minute break. Ahem, so we are going to push this rod in and hopefully watch the stuntman fall a few stories to his action feature. Are you okay down there? You hit the ground pretty hard. All good. Well, that was a pretty cool stunt. What's really cool is how to retract that web. Spider-Man, get out here and show us that. Oh, geez, only 30 seconds into my break. So let's pull Spider-Man up a few floors. and well back down. But what an incredible feature that was. I totally didn't see that coming. Anyhow, let's rotate around to the inside view and take a look at a few things. There is so much detail with this set. I probably won't be able to highlight everything. On our first floor, we have the entrance to the Sanctorum with an opening door and probably the most comfiest chair I've ever seen. Onto the left side, we have Pepe's Pizzeria. Looks like Scooby has found a way out of the mystery machine to take a look at that giant shawarma on the grill. There is a multitude of breakaway windows on this set. The first one we're looking at would be Pepe's Pizza. Up front there's a little rod to push in. Press that in and it will blow out that front window. Hard to see obviously from there. And then someone could steal that shawarma. <laughs> wow, Andy got the pizza too. On the second level, we have a small science lab for Peter Parker. There is a lot of detail going on with his desk. Looks like a microscope, computer keyboard, spider suit drawing, pet stuff in boxes. And over on the right side, we have a Doctor Strange room. It's kind of funny when you think about it, because when you close the house up, that room will now be a shared room of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Funny that they didn't maybe place Spider-Man's bedroom here, and then this up here, and then they would have combined. Of course, the front entrance would still be a little weird, so it's a diorama. Who could complain? Anyhow, for Doctor Strange, we have an opening and closing chest with a few knives, a bunch of Doctor Strange, Strange manuscripts, and over here we have a hidden infinity stone, so we have a shelf with some books, and a little knob here, and when we rotate back to the front, we have a hidden breakaway wall that then reveals the hidden infinity stone. A little tricky to get to because of the angle of the building. Make sure to hinge in just a little bit and you should be okay. Pretty neat how obscured it is. Now onto the third floor on the left side. We have a blue dyed sheep bed for Spider-Man and a secret trap door. Anyone want to highlight? I got it. And on the front side of the building again, there should be a release rod. Pull out, and there you go. Ugh. And on the Doctor Strange side, we have that classic Sanctorum window to look out, a nice fancy desk, fancy bookshelves, 
If you really want to, you can open this up for it a quick escape. Not really happening in the movie or anything, just there to have if you want to. And on the roof, not too much going on other than that retracting winch water tower, but there is a lot of space for action figure showdown. Ah, there would be a Bonnie Ma, one of Thanos' kiddos. Pretty good minifigure. Ah, and there's Doctor Strange again, with normal face and more battle ready. Oh, and there's Iron Man. Tony Stark inside with, with some blue techno reflection. Ah, and then the giant coal obsidian. With giant smashing hammers. Oh, and of course, Iron Spider-Man with four extra metallic legs back there. I'd like to see him battle Doc Ock. Oof. I'm sure there's several other features to get to, there's so many. Over on the far right, Spider-Man side, we have another breakaway window up top. By rotation of this web piece, many of the other windows are on hinges to lift open, and I think even Spider-Man's phone is stuck on this web here. I think one of the best parts of this set is just how easy it folds down. It's like a shoebox full of surprises. You can easily fit it on a shelf and won't take up too much space, unlike certain other sets. That's what I'm saying, guys. I think there's a parking spot over here. Oh, oh, Doctor Strange. Oh my goodness, so sorry. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, oh, Iron Man, oh my goodness. So sorry, we didn't see you there. Oh, this is, this is really my bad. Uh, let's, we'll look for a parking spot over here, okay? Sorry. Oh dear, oh. Well, once everything is cleaned up, this is really a fantastic set. I really can't believe I waited this long. There are so many things going on. It's definitely something you'll want to give a second look at. Hey Thanos, we found the other stone. It's hidden behind the bookshelves. At last. Your puny parlor tricks won't stop me now, Doctor Strange. Huh? Gangway! <laughs> What do you think of our solution? And we avoided a sequel. Sounds good to me. I probably have a yacht party to go to. Yay! Tony, I don't feel so good. Anyone see the Hulk? I'm just gonna sit down. Where's my spaceship? Lego Marvel Superheroes Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown arrives on store shelves way back in March 2018 and runs approximately $99.99. If you're looking to start your LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, this construction set could finish it all. Too many amazing things to highlight, a very challenging and lengthy build, and a lot of key minifigures are included with this construction set, minus the mystery machine, of course. A must-have for an infinite LEGO collection. However, if you're looking for something fancier, try Lockwood Manor from Jurassic World. That's what I have to say about that. That rooftop water tower must hold 10 full Lego mugs of water. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Oh wow! Just look at this place! These are excellent bookshelves, Doctor Strange. Much better than my bookshelves. Well, actually, my bookshelves are pretty cool. <laughs> If you want, I can build you some. I just need the right materials. You know, maybe use one of those portal things and give me some of those materials and, and I can build some more bookshelves. Oh, oh, hey, look, there's some bookshelves over here too. Oh, wow, Bo whoops, I dropped a bookshelf. Oh my goodness. Dr. Strange, Dr. Strange, there's bookshelves down here on the second floor. Oh, this is a great day. Woo.